to another video. I hope you have been doing very well. For today's video, I am bringing you another week of vegan breakfast ideas video. You guys seem to really enjoy them and I am loving making them for you. If you do try any of these recipes at home, make sure to tag me on Instagram so that I can see your creations and yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So let's get into the video. This is a week of vegan breakfast and I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so breakfast number one, we are making some fluffy pancakes. And I first of all started with some plain flour as well as maca powder, baking powder. And then I added in some vanilla as well as maple syrup. And then I used some soy milk, but you could use any plant-based milk that you like. Then I whisked this all together until there were no lumps. And then I started cooking my pancakes. Uh, these make about four medium sized pancakes. They're really light and fluffy and they'll just bubble on the top when they're ready. And then you can flip them over and cook the other side. Um, and then once they were done, you can serve them however you would like. Personally, I just like serving them with some more maple syrup as well as some lemon. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I love making my own homemade chocolate granola. And for this one, I started with some oats as well as almonds, hemp seeds, as well as then some pumpkin seeds and chia seeds. I pretty much just use whatever I have going on in the cupboard at that time. I then added in some dates, which I cut into small pieces, followed by some cacao powder. And then after that, I added in maple syrup and coconut oil. If you don't like the taste of coconut oil, I would recommend not using it and just adding more sweetener because you do tend to be able to taste it a little bit in this recipe. I put it on a baking tray and I baked it in the oven. All of the full ingredients lists and cooking directions will be in the description box below. I then topped it with some coconut yogurt as well as frozen raspberries and then I put some soy milk on top and yeah, this was a really delicious breakfast. So my housemate Kara came up with the idea of making savory crepes. This was my first time making them and so I started with some plain flour, a little bit of raw sugar as well as plant-based milk and salt. I whisked this together lightly and then I added in a flax egg and continued whisking until it was a nice smooth mixture. Then I cooked this over the heat with a little bit of olive oil making sure to flip and cook both sides until they were golden. Then in a separate pan, I started with a little bit of olive oil as well as some sliced cherry tomatoes and a whole heap of spinach. I then added in some nutritional yeast and a little bit of salt and I cooked this until it was nice and wilted. Then I put this as well as some vegan cheese and I put these in my crepes and rolled them all up. And yeah, this was a really delicious and unique breakfast idea. I really recommend giving it a go. So lately I am obsessed with quinoa and I'd heard about the idea of making quinoa porridge so decided to give it a go. I started by first of all putting quinoa, chia seeds, plant-based milk, vanilla and rice malt syrup but you could use maple or agave. I put this into a pot and I cooked it as you would normally cook quinoa. So allowing the water to boil and then once it's boiling putting it down to a simmer and then putting the lid on. I then also made a raspberry compote thing <laughs> to put on top with some frozen raspberries as well as rice malt syrup, chia seeds and a little bit of vanilla and I mixed this together until it thickened up quite well. Then in a bowl I served about half of the quinoa that I had cooked and then I topped it with some of the raspberry compote. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but that's the way that I served it. It was really delicious and really filling. The 
The thing that I love about a nourish bowl is that you can have it at literally any time of the day and make it work. I first of all started by cutting up some sweet potatoes and I am going to put these in a bowl and coat them in my favorite herbs and spices as well as a little bit of olive oil and just toss it together until everything's nice and well done. I baked this in the oven for about 40 to 50 minutes. You could do this in advance if you didn't want to have to wait for something to cook in the morning. And then I got some tempeh, but again, you could use tofu or another plant-based protein that you like. And I coated this in barbecue sauce and smoked paprika. And then I put these on the baking tray with the sweet potato. Then in a pot, like I said, loving quinoa at the moment. So I cooked up some quinoa just in some water with a little bit of salt. And whilst that was cooking, I made my greens. I am loving massaged greens at the moment. So in this bowl, I put spinach as well as cos lettuce. And then I added in half of an avocado as well as some lemon and salt and pepper. And I basically just massage this with my hands and it makes the greens taste really, really delicious. So in my bowl, I served my cooked quinoa as well as my massaged greens, my roasted sweet potato and my roasted barbecue tempeh. Looks so delicious just looking at it. I then topped it with some hemp seeds as well as a wedge of lemon. And like I said, this is a very versatile meal, great for breakfast, lunch or dinner. And I really recommend. burritos okay so first thing I am starting with is uh, rinsing some black beans over the sink and then I'm putting these with a little bit of oil and some salt pepper paprika and garlic powder the best way to cook black beans in my opinion and I just fried these up over the stove until they were nice and flavorful then I used some avocado to make guacamole. My favorite way to make guacamole is very simple. I just add some lemon juice as well as salt and pepper and then mash it together and that is pretty much it. Then I got a couple of small tortillas and then I put the guacamole as well as some of the black bean mixture. And then on top of that, I added some vegan cheese. And then I rolled these together. So this made two small breakfast burritos, which I think would serve one person very well for breakfast. I put these with a little bit of oil onto a frying pan and toasted them on both sides so that they were nice and warm and crispy and delicious. And yeah, I cut them open just so that you can have a look basically. And it looks so delicious. <laughs> Alrighty, our last breakfast for the week is some homemade hash browns, something that I'm working on perfecting at the moment. I first of all started with some peeled potatoes and I cut them into very, very small cubed pieces. From there, I then put them into a pot of boiling water and I allowed them to cook until they were super, super soft. Once they were all done, I put them into a bowl and I used a potato masher to mash them until they were very, very mashed and well combined. Then I added in some olive oil as well as fresh parsley. And then I also added in some salt, pepper and nutritional yeast. I mashed this together well and then I used my hands to form five hash browns, which I fried over the heat with a little bit of oil to get them nice and crispy on both sides. And then I decided to have three of them for breakfast and I just drizzled some homemade cashew cheese sauce, which I had made earlier in the week. And then I also topped it with some sprouts, but you could definitely enjoy it as a side with some avo toast or in a vegan big brekkie as well. Alrighty, so that was a week of vegan breakfasts. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you very soon for another video, but until then, I hope you have a really beautiful day. And yeah, thanks for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye.